What's up guys, Jordan Hardy here, boxing reporter. You don't have to just be a professional fighter to use Victor Conte's fighter training sack. I use it every day when I'm working out in the gym. Stay fit. I'm Jordan Hardy and I'm Snack Strong. I just wanted to uh, just give everybody an update on what's going on and what the status is. Um, it's business, so we got we received the term sheet. Um, we finally got a chance to actually get around, get it sent over to our attorneys and everybody else. And I say I'm gonna say this to Bill Haney. Stop going around here telling people that y'all y'all own boss and that y'all running shit because y'all not. So get off the phone with Al, you know, and and, and an attorney of mine. And in the first line of the term sheet states that this fight will only take place based upon only if if the zone and matchroom picks it up. That's a red flag. That's a red flag because if y'all gonna make a fight, the zone and matchroom should have already picked it up and they should have already been included within the contract because the zone is pretty much like this Devin Haynes promoter and matchroom is 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 pretty much like the network or or whatever that we would be competing on. So. How the fuck y'all gonna send me a blank check? That's basically what they did, y'all. They sent me a blank check, y'all. They sent me a term sheet without the network or or the 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 promotion, which is the zone and match them, without them being included in it at all. And ultimately, what they what I think what what Bill is trying to do, I'm not gonna say Bill and them not trying to make the fight. You know, I'm one of the ones that's going to be real with the people. I think they try and make the fight, but I think Bill trying to middleman some shit and try to get me, say, to be like, well, look, I got everything. We we, we agreed to all the terms, and we got everything situated, and, and, you know, this is what it is. And then he wanted me to sign, and then he's going to go and take it back and try to present it to the zone and match them. And then they will have the choice whether they would, you know what I'm saying, want to take the fight or not. They could very possibly be like, nah, that's not a good fight. You know, so y'all trying to get me to sign a blank check? What the fuck? Hey, listen. Stop this shit, man. I I, I said I was going to come down to the number that y'all wanted. I came down to the number. And now what you're telling me is, all right, we'll sign this, and then I'm going to get back to you, and I'm going to let you know if, uh, if Eddie... And, and, and match them, them, they really want to want to make this fight. That's pretty much what's going on, y'all. That's some crazy shit. I I I don't I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. Y'all y'all need to go get y'all bill. Y'all need to go get y'all shit together and then come with a, come correct when you deal with me, man. Y'all got y'all got come all the way correct, and I can't come with this little half-ass bullshit that y'all think y'all doing, man. That shit crazy. And then the fucked up part is Devin. Definitely the one that's going that, that, that's going to get, get the ass into the stick. You know what I'm saying? If it, if this shit comes into fruition, I'm trying to make the fight. What's up? Get your peoples, man. Get your peoples, man. Get you, you tell your tell your peoples to holler at us, Bill. Let, let's do this shit the correct way. You got you got to do things accordingly when you do business with me. You got to do business right. You can't do no side middle man halfway shit man dude we gotta do this shit all the way right so to the fans to the people that's what's going on you know and if they they keep bullshitting i'm still gonna give me enough fight in you know what i'm saying i'm still about to give me enough fight in if they playing games and it will be at 135 i'm moving up i ain't playing with these niggas man i just wanted to let the fans know what was going on what's happening man y'all tell me what's up man I don't know. I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what's up. I mean, we can probably still get this shit hashed out, but they they need to get their promoter and it and and the network that we competing on on board because as of now, they not on board. So that's what it is, man. Holla at me.
Let me say, we said we got 1.5 million for you personally, brother. You said you didn't like that. You didn't want to deal with us with terms of the 1.5. So guess what? We found somebody that would agree to your terms. Your terms. But if you would Al, you keep talking about Eddie to talk to you. Why wouldn't Eddie talk to Al? You said the whole thing. You said Al said that it's okay for you to talk to us, to DHP, Devin. And Eddie said the same thing. Yeah, excuse me, you know, for getting off because um, I keep waiting for a call from Gary Nem to say he didn't realize what the fuck he just said and he was out of pocket. I'm not brushing this fucking hair. What are you fuck are y'all talking about, man? Yeah, we coming, we asking the people. We are does any of that shit make sense? He's the longest reigning champion in, in boxing. We on the, ain't on this live. I'm giving him his grams. He's the longest reigning champion in boxing. And Devin is the youngest champion in boxing. Gary is a problem for who? That's why he ain't fought nobody. Man, we want to do this fight for the DMV, man. I'm telling y'all. We love our people on the West Coast. I'm telling you, we listen, we want to do it for the DMV. I love all my people on this West Coast, Vegas, you know what I'm saying, California, Texas. But on some real shit, like Deb just said it, this for them real stand-up niggas, them kings and queens out that DMV, man. You know what I'm saying? Who ride, who been riding for Lil' Gary, who ride for Tank, and we respect them. You know what I mean? Because they ride for their people. You know you got some stupid shit to say. Devin, listen, Dev said if he came on and talked this morning, that would be what a desperate man is going to do. Dev going to sleep like a boss and let his general and his army talk to you lames. You dig? No. I woke up in a very comfortable bed, Fina. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. We got a bunch of money around here that we offering this chump. I mean champ. And we standing out here. We putting our neck on the lines about this shit. And this lame going to talk about he need to talk to. Huh? You need to talk to. the great on here so you know you ain't gonna get no breaks i don't i don't have no breaks for nobody it's all gas period yeah so mr gary russell if you pull out the con if you pull out the, the the agreement that was sent over to you it's everything that you asked for now if you need to talk to somebody at some place else Without signing an agreement, we can do that too. Who you want to talk to? Who you want to talk to over here, Gary? Really? Who do you want to talk to? You're not lame. You're a fan, man. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the haters, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to switch the shit. I've been in the, man, come on, man, I've been in the streets all my life. You can't switch this shit. We trying to do this shit for the fans. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the lame in the, in, in the, in the comments. No, don't cross it with Shakur. That's another good uh, of our family. You know what I'm saying? All respect to the Stevenson family. Uh, uh, Lil J, you know what I mean? You know, we, we need to call him Big J. You know what I mean? But yeah, J Prince, man, you know?
good friend of mine and mentor, a brother to me. The man is capping, man. And I, Dev said that, and I said, no, nah, he ain't. I said, no, he ain't. Because I know it's thoroughbred niggas up out the DMV. Nigga, thoroughbred. Stand up, niggas, out the DMV. So that's why we wanted to, what, what the interest was. You know what I mean? We know that it didn't have a global interest. Of course, Gary, don't nobody, ain't nobody checking for him in Kazakhstan, Australia, you know what I mean? New Zealand, you know, all them other places and countries. Man got 40,000 people on following him on Instagram. Not to say that means something, but I'm saying it really means something to the DMV and East Oakland. But everyone needs, hey, everyone needs an approval from the network. As promoters, how would I present it to the, to the network if he's not even agreeing to the shit? So what do I present? Ten different fights? I say we got ten different fights for ten different days? How they gonna prove it and you ain't even said you want to fight? That's not my job to go talk about the hypothetical. My job is to get the guys to get to get ready to get in the ring. I've been doing this shit for, man, come on, man. We did all his fights. We did the last three with the help of, of Matchroom. We 24 and 0. We did 21 on our own. I'm not fighting no motherfucking Gary Russell, BH versus Gary Russell, man. You know what I'm saying? We handling this business and we're going to take it serious. And if it ain't what's happening, then we're going to, you know what I'm saying? Get back to the Devin Haney show. Yeah, definitely. He's a lion in the jungle, a young lion. Gary's an old lion, and he caught him limping. Yeah, we didn't We didn't send out no offers to no PBC fighters. We ain't going to disrespect the great Al Heyman like that. I would never disrespect him like that. We seen him offering his services as a boss to Terrence Crawford at 147 pounds. So Devin, as a young boss, Offered him some money to come on the network that he's on and give you guys something that y'all, you know what I'm saying, that, that y'all can appreciate. Y'all the fans, y'all the one to pay for it. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't, um, we we can't spend number ten dollars. I mean, um, um, twenty dollars for a fight in each house. Twenty here, twenty at Devon's. That's forty. Another twenty, another twenty. We might spend a thousand dollars on the fight when when, when we all watching. We appreciate y'all. We need y'all. It ain't no us without y'all. The fans, LDBC for making this shit happen. And he gonna say disown them? Come on, man. You gonna put disown and matchroom in the middle of negotiating between uh, two extremely talented and successful black families that we can't come to an agreement and then present it to somebody? You gonna honestly say that about me, G? You gonna go in there and say that and test my integrity and test all the shit with me? Cause I'm I got a, I sent over a term sheet, and the term had the youngest champion in the world on it. I got him to agree to it. It's a term sheet, man. It ain't a contract. Nobody send no con a contract over there to you. It's a term sheet, man. These are the terms that you said on live, like they told me. Oh, is that what he wants? Oh, well, get him, get him to agree to the terms, and let's see, can will the zone approve it? Huh? Yeah, that's what my that's what my counselors, yeah, that sit up around me. You talking about your lawyers and all that? My lo my lawyers my lawyers went to sidewalk you. Yeah. My lawyers went to sidewalk you, man. So you think we gonna what 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 was the check? Was I supposed to send him some money? He ain't even got in the ring. So when you talk about blank check, blank check how? 
He wanted a check for 1.5 or do he want the terms in which he's going to get in the ring on a particular day for an event for the people and he'll pick up the money based on the terms of the agreement? That's all we're trying to do is make it happen, Queen. Hey, Cake Doll, excuse me for interrupting Dev's live because we got a bunch of Devin's fans, supporters, family, friends, uh, associates that don't even know who Mr. Gary Russell is and don't even know why BH the Great is on his live. But Devin has the biggest platform to get out because if I, if I was to go on and talk on my, y'all probably wouldn't have heard it. You probably wouldn't have heard it. So Dev said, go ahead, Pops. But it's, it's 925 out here. We're not getting another opponent. Gary Russell is the opponent. We're not moving on. Because if the zone don't approve it, then Showtime approve it. Yeah, we didn't care nothing about that. We sent it over there to them. We said first. I said first. I said, well, I said, well, gee, well, see what Al want to do. See what Al want to do first. You send over the terms. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that ain't, that ain't, shawty. We, you ain't, you tell them to send over the, the terms if they, gee. You ain't make no sense. You are the opponent and you will not get out of this. And if it don't look right, you write the shit in and send it back to us. And then when you send it, then say, oh, they wouldn't accept it. Sit, write another piece of paper down and write the shit down and send it over. And they gonna stop capping. Little ass fraud. Nigga testing my integrity. I ain't never said nothing about you as being a man. I got a bunch of times you didn't call me. You sit up and call me, brother. You might call me when we get off the phone. A real man don't need no announcement. You either going to fill him or you not. Ain't no choir boys. Choir. Choir boys sport. It's fighting. And we going to fight you motherfuckers till the day we die. Everybody have a nice day. Blessing on top of blessings. We love everybody. We love the energy that they give them. You know what I'm saying? Respect to everybody, even our enemies. Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.